Good morning, it's Tuesday Live with Dr. JJ from the Adam Kara Prayer Corner, reading from Nehemiah. All the people gathered together into the square before the water gate. They told the scribe Ezra to bring the book of law of Moses, which the Lord had given to Israel accordingly. And the priest Ezra brought the law before the assembly, both men and women, and all who could hear with understanding. This was on the first day of the seventh month. When we gather, we discover the need to listen and learn and grow together. In this reading today, the covenant as her was heard as the people gathered. The covenant renewal of all people calls them to unity and invites them to renew life in their God rather than seeing divine instruction as cramping, restricting, legislation. The Jews then and now recognize Torah as a compassionate guide, a pathway as set wise of instructions about how to live together in justice and joy. But that guide and that path has not been sealed forever in concrete at Sinai. Instead, they must be reinterpreted to show the path to community and to joy as the people worship the God who renews their life in the season of Epiphany. Ezra reminds us that we too are recipients of divine instruction, a people called to continual renewal and reinterpretation of God's word among us. That word is alive and ever new in the power of the spirit among us. As we consider God's laws, which one serves as compassionate guides, which ones need reinterpretation. And God, in this epiphany season, may your word be a renewing reminder of the freshness of your presence with your people. Amen.